excited to be here tonight, today. For our first meeting. Raymond Joe is not going to be here tonight, so I'm going to be leading the way. You're going to get an opportunity to see a whole bunch of executive board members run meetings this year. Uh, tell us a little bit. All right. Yep. Going to hit the agenda for tonight. Got a little welcome back for me. We're going to hit the state tournament uh, award ceremony and recognize all the officials who worked the final week of the playoffs. We have scholarships that have been awarded for people who attended uh, high school camps this summer. Uh, Mr. Lancey is going to give us some information. Uh, Gary Montel has got a presentation for us tonight. Chuck French is going to talk about some scrimmage stuff and meeting uh, requirements. So we make sure we're all on the same page with that. And then we have a very important uh, presentation at the end. We've got a couple of constitutional amendments that have come up through things that have happened over the summer. And so we've got some presentations regarding some changes in the Constitution and whether or not we want to make it. Okay, so very important uh, last part of this talk. All right, and then I'll get you guys out of here uh, as quickly as we can. I just th I was thinking about us getting back into this today, and I wanted to just I was thinking about our association and our group and some of the things that I've come up in this association in the last ten years, and I know we hear it a lot, but I think I, it's important to readdress it. I still feel like this is the best group in in Colorado. I think we have a very very knowledgeable group of officials. We have a high reputation here in the state of Colorado. One of the most organized, most professional, most talented, best educated on the rules, and we give our schools the most qualified officials to put on the court each week. I feel like we come prepared for every contest, no matter what the level, to give our schools the best effort each and every night. We are a no excuses organization, and we must know the rules and know how and when to apply them. We are all on the same team, and we do not have any lone wolves in our team. We work together and help each other out, and we do not sit in the stands and criticize each other while we watch someone else's games. We help with evaluations when asked, and we are fair and consistent with our evaluations. We are all on the Area 6 team, and we win together. This is an important part because I think you're going to see it as we go through tonight, especially at the end. Um, if there is something that you do not agree with this board, if there is something that you don't understand, if there's an issue that comes uh, arises, we have in um, place a grievance process. We have in place a, um, an opportunity, Mr. Huffer, uh, any other board member that you can come to and talk to. Okay, we want you guys to feel like you have a voice. You guys are the most important part of this organization. We want to make sure that you understand that you guys can come talk to us about whatever it is that you need to. Okay? Um, other than that, I'm just really excited to be back. I was really excited when I saw that schedule come out the other day. I was excited to click on the accept button and see who my partners were going to be. Uh, I'm a little worried about the games. But other than that, uh, I'm excited to be back to basketball. And I hope everybody else is. I hope everybody's been working. I hope everybody's got their uniforms out, got them pressed, got our jackets, making sure they still fit. I know I'm working on it. Okay? So, those things, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be back in front of this group, and I think this executive board's worked hard this summer trying to fix some things, trying to get some things right. Um, and hopefully we're going to show that to you tonight. Um, with that being said, I would like to turn it over to Mr. Montel. And we're going to recognize all the state tournament officials that worked the final week this year. Okay, so if you come down. Executive board, please. Yeah, the board's going to be here. If you would come down when I read your name, uh, I think that's our goal along our journey is to get that final week. And uh, Mr. Mancy can tell you how you do that. All right, the 1A, the. And uh, Andy Brooks, he did the 1A Girls Championship. <laughs> Andy Heo and Amy Schulte were at that venue.
stand alone right up here, that would be great. In the two, in the two, in the two A, and uh, this was down in Pueblo, and I had the privilege of watching them. And man, you could tell that these guys were from Colorado Springs. And like uh, he said, it was cool. We had a great day, man, down there. Bob and I were down all day. Rick Carney.
Okay, and in the 5A girls semifinals, Amy Fritz. <laughs> Semi-finals, one of our top ladies, as well as the ones that are standing up here, Brenda Manning. So again, that ought to be your goal. Cool venue, and go next year if you have a chance and you're not selected. Again, congratulations. Very much. Nice. intimate camp, about 20 people, maybe five clinicians, over three days, very social, relaxed camp, honest feedback, um, inexpensive, probably beginner to third year official. Anything I miss? Had a great party, he supplied snacks and coffee in the morning, and a great social night, so it was well worth the money, and professional feedback. Yeah, it's a pretty cool facility. They had uh, five courts, and you got to work on the big gym. A few of you here. Stand up if you went to uh, to that camp up there in Boulder for that time. You no, know, David, Frank went. Yeah, there's five or six other people. I think we had seven for one. Uh, the last one is uh, kind of very valuable, typically to Bob and myself, is the Iowa School. And I, I think what makes that school is Tom Lopes, who's our executive director of 17,000 officials. IBO is the biggest sports officiating governing body in the world. That's a pretty powerful organization. This is the 90th year. And along that, uh, I'll tell you later. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we had uh, 18 people from our group that went. Stand up if you went to Keppel to that really cool deal. Uh, we're going to do it again next year, probably the second week in June, Bob, probably. And uh, Donnie Effley, who's our executive director, uh, incredible. He has 80 Division I games this year. He assigns over 3,000 games out of his house in Pennsylvania. They don't have an IABLE office. But these guys know how to referee and how to teach it and how to, to evaluate officials. And uh, uh, I'm very blessed and honored to be, to hang out with those guys who just, man, you learn so much when you go to camp as a clinician or, or as, as, as a camper. So we have 18, or uh, how many, nine? Nine. Yeah. Nine people that uh, qualified for a scholarship. And if you went to the camp, 